Welcome to the Pull Up Vlog. I'm Sean Francis, and we talk everything. Say it with me. Pull vault. The penultimate step. What the heck is it? The penultimate step is a step that's just prior to the takeoff step. So if you take off on your left foot, the penultimate step would be your right foot. It's a little bit more complicated than that. The penultimate step helps put the athlete in ideal biomechanical positions to take advantage of the relationship between the physical human body and scientific principles of physics to launch the athlete in an ideal trajectory for ultimate performance. That's the penultimate step. Or another way of saying this is, the penultimate step helps you jump and vault higher. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Now that gets kind of complicated. Penultimate step, what is it? How do you say it? it? Sounds weird coming out of my mouth. Well, that's where a lot of the confusion is. There's lots of different ways to coach it. I have to stop this video here. If you want to see the rest of this video talking about the penultimate step, it's over on Patreon. Just sign up for Patreon and bam, you get to learn more about the penultimate step. The general rule states and consensus that you want the steps to be long and then short, like a if you've seen athletes or coaches doing this. They're talking about the penultimate step. Long, short, long, short, long, short. So for the penultimate step, we're looking for that long, short while carrying all of the speed into the takeoff. Now the confusion comes up where people start talking about how much lower should my body be? How far should the athlete be reaching? What are the shin angles? I can't even pronounce the word penultimate. Blah, blah. How am I supposed to teach it? To me, it all depends on the athlete's strengths and weaknesses. For example, in a past video, we talked about jumpers and crunchers. I'll link it right up here. And we talked about how different athletic advantages or physiological advantages determine how the technique happens in the pole vault. The penultimate step works sort of the same way as the jumper cruncher idea. But I'll keep it really simple and I'll show you the easiest way to coach this. Now here's what usually happens. Okay, I want you to run full speed and then for your second to last step, not your takeoff step, I want you to make it a little bit longer. But while it's longer, I want you to sink your hips down low to the ground while landing flat footed so you can roll off your toe. That way you can jump into the takeoff step. You know, long short. What? Or what I like to do that I found the most useful is just tell the athlete to skip. Everybody knows how to skip. And if you think about a skip, think about anybody skipping. It's long short, long short. It's natural in our body already. It's already a movement pattern. So why try and complicate it? Just tell them to skip. Call the skip a penultimate step. Call penultimate skip a step a skip. It's almost the exact same movement. And then you can work from there. So what I like to have my kids do is I have them do skip routines, different skips, right, 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 left, 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 right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, whatever. You know, you just kind of play it, get their head kind of mushed up. And then you have them run full speed and then skip. And more often than not, they do an almost perfect penultimate step. It's that easy, guys. So what is the simplest way you can explain it? I don't know how to get more simple than skipping. So that's where I've gotten to. And that's why at my camps, I do a lot of these drills and these drills. And if you've been to my camps, we do a lot of skipping because it helps with the penultimate step. So that's how I coach it. How do you guys coach it? Let me know, I'm curious. I like new ideas. I want tools in my toolbox too, guys. 